Oh, I've okay. heard. Okay, okay, we know them too. Okay, we heard of. Mm-hmm. Don't we have? I think we oh, heard them. Okay, yeah, we heard <laughs> of them. Okay, excellent. To the top, ain't none of y'all stopping me. Used to say I never get a ring, Charles Barkley. Now I got a wife, got kids on property. Bubble eye beans that look like that be watching me. Okay, I lied about the beans, but that was hard though. I'm still in that black act, but she starred though. Cause that's all it takes. Oh. I'm on my grind, not no more fashion show. We wanted to know because right now we're new, all right. So mm-hmm. we just started and we're using our own money. Gotcha. Like we're using money, like we purchase things from like Costco and Bulk and, and yeah. things like that. From our credit like, card. From our credit card, right? right? And our business credit card, of course. But mm-hmm. you know, we work together. We're co-workers. Okay. okay. We we're in the healthcare industry. And we're co-workers and the money we get we use in to pay off the credit card from our own from, you know own, you know paycheck okay. yeah. so what do you recommend in that instance i recommend that you keep doing what you're doing as long as you can afford to yeah. do it so because me personally i did start my business with loans i don't know if you know that or not and so i got yes i personal. heard you say that right mm-hmm. and I, mm-hmm. I did my best to try to pay them back in the beginning but if i'm honest i didn't pay them off now, okay. mm-hmm. I don't advise everybody to do that because guess what? For seven years, I had bad credit because I had those loans on my on my credit report. Mm-hmm. Okay. So mm-hmm. I don't know if everybody want to stomach that. You know what I mean? I didn't really care. Mm-hmm. I knew I wasn't trying to buy my dream house anytime soon. I knew I was on my grind for the next 10 gotcha. years, so it didn't matter okay. to me. So okay. in this case, I don't know what y'all personal financial situation are, mm-hmm. but I will say continue to pay it back if that's what you want to choose to do. And then uh, and just understand and just grow the business, like get more revenue coming in. So that way it won't just be you making just enough to pay back the, the, the debt. You're also right. making enough to, you know, pay yourself some money as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. That's what we that's, yes, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. <laughs> right. I know it's like it's basic stuff. I know it's just y'all mm-hmm. just kind of needed me to confirm that. But I'm sure you already kind of knew that anyway. So, yeah. Yeah. No, you're right, though. We want to hear you say it for sure. Now, um, <laughs> what about grants? You ever thought of a grant or to apply for a grant to start your business or to help not out to, with it? Not to start. If there is this, I don't know about them. I know they definitely exist for nonprofits. And then I know like mm-hmm. during COVID, they had plenty of grants going around. But these days, mm-hmm. if there is this, uh-huh. unfortunately, I'm not aware of them. So I, I know oh, you okay. did get the business credit. So like that's a steal. But mm-hmm. honestly, that's why, like me, per- I always bootstrap everything for the most part. So it's like I always teach people how to just save up that two grand, three grand to get started out of pocket and just kind of build up from there. But mm-hmm. I, if, there, if there was some money out there, that, that, shoot, I wish I would. I wish I knew. <laughs> I know, right? Okay. So you have to use some money out of your exactly. pocket. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, for sure. Also, um, I wanted to know. OK, so we've been um, in contact with a surgery center, right? So initially when I called. Um, they, the, the front desk receptionist stated that, yeah, they were not happy with the cleaning company. And she knew that, you know, the facility was looking for, um, someone else to take over the job. However, I called the administrator and I also, um, who then stated, I called her, I believe twice. And I sent her an email that, you know, she asked for me to send her an email with our flyers. I done that. Mm -hmm. And, um, then she said she was going to get me in touch with the business office manager. Well, when okay. I followed up and then I also asked Cynthia to go over to the facility to follow up, um, they haven't gotten back to us. So no. what should we, what would you recommend come, in yeah. that case? Do we get keep in touch with them or should we continue to pursue? Let me ask you this. When you followed up both methods, did you specifically ask if you could do a walkthrough with them? Yes, we did. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. We asked if we could come. We said we would love to come. Yeah, you know, and do a free, free esti- quote. yeah, free estimate uh-huh. uh, quote. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. And then what did they say in response to that? Uh she said she was gonna speak to the administrator. That's the only thing she said. The business office. So they're going back and forth. Yeah. Basically. Right. Do you do you have the name of the person, the, the business manager yeah. or whoever? Yes. Mm-hmm. yes, I did. I gathered I'll all of that. Ahead. I spoke with them. Uh-huh. Yeah, but I will call them again and ask to speak directly to that person again. And I will keep trying to, I mean, at least once a week, it wouldn't hurt, but I would definitely keep trying it until okay. they specifically tell you, no, mm-hmm. I'm not interested anymore. Because they did okay. initially tell you that they were interested and people just yes. busy. So yeah, I will keep going forward and ask for that person specifically. Okay. Okay. 
Um, okay. All right. You still want us to ask you questions? Yeah, go for it. We got, okay. we got time. We got time. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So we've been um, really hustling for the, since, so we had our um, license since last March, but okay. we honestly just been, we started hustling maybe the last two months. Two months. Yes. I would okay. say. Mm-hmm. Um, and we've got homes. I'm really, I mean, thank God for the homes, right? Yeah. That renovating we, homes that we're yeah, doing. Yeah. Renovating homes that we're doing right now. However, I'm, I'm, I think not that it's a waste of time, but I'm more so interested in the commercial side, such yeah. as you know the, the centers, uh, the big contracts, offices, contracts, big contracts instead of right. just one job, mm-hmm. one day job. Okay. Um, should we continue along this line until we get something, or what would you propose? I think it depends on your personal situation. So if y'all know that That's y'all true. need that money, mm-hmm. go ahead and take what you can get right until we build up to the point. But I mean, if you don't, if you're not in a desperate situation, if your jobs are doing enough to at least pay your bills, forget the residential lot all the way in on commercial. Okay, you see that? Okay, okay. see that was good. All right, uh-huh. that's good. And, and I will say this too. Let me. It, you said y'all been hustling for the past two months. So, what does hustling look like? How many businesses are y'all contacting per day? Oh, oh, see, you know what? <laughs> and I have a list. I have the list like you stated. I do have the list. And you know what? Okay, you're right. But you know we've been going door to door. Yeah, we've been going, door yeah, to, we've been door. going to door to door. But you know okay. what? We also learned from your videos is that we should have followed up. Follow so up, we just yes. went and passed mm-hmm. them out and said, and you know, we got feedback and they were like, okay, you know, we'll let you know. Mm-hmm. But you know what? We listened, we listened to your videos and we learned. We said, uh oh. Yes. We should have followed yeah, it up. Like he said, we should have went back around. Yeah. We just left it. Left exactly. it at the front desk and we didn't speak exactly. to the owner or whatever, right? So it was, You might as well just take them and throw them in the trash can almost. That's what you said, yeah. 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 yeah, so, uh-huh, right. And then we went to, yeah, we did actually go to residents, um, doctor's offices, different things like that, yeah. uh, commercial buildings. We did, and they told us to follow. Th- That's what I wanted to know. So they gave us a number to... Like, because someone's developing a new apartment complex, right? Yeah. Luxury co- uh, uh, buildings. Mm-hmm. And they said to um, reach out to the, I guess, contractor. Contractors. Or yeah. Developers. I don't know. Developers. Exactly. Mm-hmm. The developers. And, um, but we, we couldn't find on their website where to follow through or enter a bid. Because he was like, yes. enter a bid. One of the construction. But where? Was like, who enter a bid. Contact. Yeah. Because I Let know you said you. something about that. Uh-huh. Yeah. So typically, cause it's, what it is, is probably a post-construction job, right? They're still building on it? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So it's going to be a post-construction cleanup, which they pay way better than commercial. And then once you finish your post-construction, typically you can move on and be hired to be their recurring cleaning service as well. Mm-hmm. So okay. they do take bids and there's a process. If you didn't see it on the website, because that's typically the first place I would say to go to, try okay. to see if you can call somebody or get in contact and just ask them specifically, how do I get on your vendor's list to be a cleaner? Vendor's list. Job. Thank you. Okay. Yep. I'm writing that down. Okay. Because you know what? We're going to go back around here. We're going to yes. take We're gonna take more days and we're going back around here to everyone we can contact, everyone yeah. we right. can run into. And that's what yeah, we're, we're thinking do. also about daycare. So maybe... Uh, those private facilities. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think where we might have the um, problem too is um, bidding. I did use your calculator on the last one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have so many things running through my head. So, okay. I'm sorry. I'm all over the place right now. But yeah. I know with your calculator, like um, someone called me, like, mm-hmm. okay. So I reached out to several of my, uh, uh, real estate agents that I know, right? And they were calling us about cleaning apartments and things like that. Yes. Um, so I used your calculator. So we gave them for a two bedroom, I guess, was it one bathroom? One bathroom. One living room, yeah. kitchen, dining room, all that stuff. Right. We gave them a, 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 a quote of 150. Okay. But on your calculator, when we did it, it said like $75. So are we right. off or, I mean, we have no, yeah, me- we, we have, have a little no problem, method. like gotcha. getting a quote, right? Is yeah, we don't have a, a method. A regular house clean or is it a, a yeah, apartment what type cleaning. of job was it? It was a regular apartment cleaning. Okay. Is it, 
Gotcha, because it's a different. So you got move out cleans, and then you got like oh no, no, it was a regular is farm and clean. So, yeah, mm -hmm. gotcha. Mm -hmm. So so they weren't moving out. This person was gonna still live there, but you were gonna clean. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. yes. Gotcha. And so which calculator did you use for that? Um, your calculator. It's on my um. It's an app on my phone. I'm yeah, sorry. yeah. I'm sorry. Let me ask you uh -huh. a which. Because there's multiple, so you got the special service calculator, the, the commercial calculator, and the residential calculator on in, in the calculator. Oh, oh, uh, oh so, you so I have to look at it. Right. I'll so look. Okay. What I was going to say is you, you might have put it in the apartment move out section and it could have oh. given you price. Right. So in this particular case, you want to mm -hmm. use the residential calculator because they actually live there and you're going to be cleaning somebody's residence. And so in the residential calculator, there's two different ones. So they got method mm -hmm. one and method two. I prefer method two. I recommend you do it, but you put it in both and see what it, it, it tells you and then go mm -hmm. with your gut what the number is. But method one, basically, it takes all of the rooms. So you tell it, you know, how many bedrooms, how many kitchens, et cetera. And it'll mm -hmm. give you a number based on how long it thinks you should take you to clean each particular point in that residence. But on method two, it just goes off production rate, just like the commercial calculator. So I like that method because that's what I'm more comfortable with. But okay. you can try. So I would just say go back and make sure you're using the, the right calculator. And then mm -hmm. also, honestly, you did right. So if, if any time when you're using the calculator and it doesn't, mm -hmm. it tells you a number, you like, yeah, it says that. But I think this, go with what you think because you saw the building. And, and, and I mean, the calculator is only giving you back what you put into it. Oh, okay. It could have been using the wrong calculator, or it could have been, you know, mm -hmm. an error on, on the calculator's part. Maybe it's something that's different in your area, or, or whatever the case may be. But okay, tip, but you made the right decision, though. Just definitely go with your gut. Excellent. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Because we don't want to over over overcharge people. And yeah, right. it's a little and now at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> right, and don't, don't be scared to ask them. You know, so let's mm -hmm. just say if you if you didn't win the job, go back mm -hmm. and ask. Do you mind sharing to let us know like well, why you chose not to go with us? If you know what I mean, yes. we would love to, to learn from this experience. You know, a lot that's of times they'll tell you, you know, them. your price was a little bit higher. So don't be scared to ask them mm -hmm. either. Okay, mm -hmm. what products would do you recommend using? Do you use um eco friendly products? Absolutely, I recommend it. Now, here's the thing, though. I like to use all in one, so it's like I want it to be a disinfectant and an all-purpose cleaner at the same time. Okay. But okay. if I can't get it, to, it's hard to make it a uh, uh, eco-friendly mm -hmm. or non-toxic in particular if it's if it's a disinfectant. And so the only one that comes to mind automatically is Simple Green. Mm -hmm. They have one that's non-toxic and is a disinfectant. Oh, yes. All-purpose. So Simple Green, I highly recommend if mm -hmm. you can't get that because they are expensive. I, okay. Right now, my top one is a uh, Odo band. Oh, I've okay. heard. Okay, okay, we know them too. Okay, we heard of. Mm -hmm. Don't we have? I think we do Okay, yeah, we heard <laughs> of them. Okay, excellent. Now I'll tell you something. We use what was it? What, what did we use before? For what? For the cleaning. Pine saw. Pine saw. <laughs> of course, we diluted it. Uh -huh. But it got the job done. We clean walls, we clean the kitchens, the cabinets, mm -hmm. everything with it. So what do you say about that? Because I know some people don't like strong odors, of course. Exactly. And so I think it's kind of going to, in that case, there's a couple of things. Number one, I want to point out before I forget that pine saw is just a cleaner and is not a um, disinfectant. So oh, that's okay. to consider. Gotcha. And then also, um, what else I was going to say on it? Um Oh, the scent. Right. So you spoke about the scent. So mm -hmm. I would just inquire with your customer about it. You know, ask them if it's OK. If you like, what do they prefer? Do they do they not want a strong scent? Do they do they like strong scents? It's mm -hmm. all okay. So just kind of don't be afraid to ask it what their preference is. And some of them might even, that might even help you stand out in some cases where it's like, wow, mm -hmm. they care not to even ask what they want us to use clean with. So, yeah, don't be scared to ask them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some people don't like that. The smell the strong, yeah, yeah. strong it's strong right. but that's why we were diluting it but yeah. still it was Chills, strong you know? i like yeah. that smell like clean. i don't know what it means like i clean. know it's like, yeah <laughs> but it doesn't disinfect yeah, so we gotta the, remember yeah, that it needs something okay. like as well yeah now how much do you charge um if to, to should, or should i just go on the list uh for the cold calling like if we were to just um hire you guys out to do the cold calling and to get the um businesses for us 
Yep, yep. So we don't charge per call or anything like that or per hour. The way we do it is we charge per appointment set. And so if you oh. are a member of Clean Business Network right now, and the prices change, but right now the mm-hmm. price is, I think it's $125 per, per appointment. And if you're not a member, it's $175 an appointment. Okay. Okay. And what does that appointment, so one call, what are you saying? Absolutely not one call. <laughs> so, oh, so that's what I'm like, trying to clarify. Right. So what's per so appointment? appointment? So, for example, you know how you was telling me about that building earlier that they told you that they might be interested, but then you mm-hmm. can't get a walkthrough. So uh-huh. what we do is we get you the walkthrough. So that's what I mean when we say one appointment. So we have an appointment for a walkthrough. So it could take us 500 calls to get that appointment. It could take us Understood. two calls to get that appointment. It really okay. just ranges, okay. you know what I mean? Okay, perfect example. Um, that's one appointment. However, if we say, okay, we would like to hire out your company to do the cold calling for us, and you make, what, five calls, that's $500? $500? If we make five 600, calls. 500. Yeah, 600. $600. Oh, I see. Okay. Let, all right. Oh, so, so get us five walkthroughs. Mm-hmm. So that's $600? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Right. Different, different walkthroughs. Right? Walkthrough, not the calls. Okay. Right. Because it's like it could be a, a minimum. Right. Right. <laughs> really get yeah. So, yeah. Different walkthroughs. Yeah. That's $600. And no guarantee we actually get that job, right? No but you guys can guide us job. too, right? Guarantee you get to walk through, but no guarantee to get the contract. Absolutely, so, yeah. yeah, yeah. Now I will say this though. So here's here's the the silver lining in it is this. Think about when you close the deal for a commercial contract, for example. Let's just say on a small scale, the contract is what three hundred dollars a month. So even if you bought you know three of them. And it took you three just to get that one low three hundred dollar a month contract. It'll still pay for itself because it's still paid for itself, exactly. right? And so, but typically, right. if you close a deal like the, the one you were talking about earlier, surgery, something, we probably mm-hmm. looking at two grand, four grand, five grand, depending on how size of the, the size of it. Mm-hmm. So, if you close that deal, you mm-hmm. know, you could have ten leads, and it was well worth it. That's right. Okay. Yeah, that's so. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Uh, go ahead. Do you have any questions? Do you guys help us also uh, find contracts or is just to help us find the walkthrough? Just to walk through. And the only reason we can't get, so I do have one program that guarantees contracts, but it's extremely expensive. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that one, I think it's like, yeah, it's like 50 grand for that program. But the reason why is because I can't guarantee you will close the deal, right? Now, right. Mm-hmm. If I was coming out there or one of my reps were coming out there and actually closing the deal ourselves, then that's the only way we can guarantee the contract. So it's like mm-hmm. I can provide you with the trend because when you buy leads, we also send you a video. There's a video right now at YouTube channel. Just look up AJ Simmons mm-hmm. how to do a walkthrough. But like I can sh- tell you what to do. I could sh- show you what to do on a video. But at the end of the day, you know, we just got to get out there and do it. Yeah. You know, have to get out there and do it. Like, no guarantee that you're going to close a contract. So there's no way for me to guarantee that you will close a contract unless I come and do it for you. Right. Right. Yes. That's that's true. Okay. Understood. Mm -hmm. Okay. Listen, every single year I host the biggest celebration of the cleaning industry. And that's the Clean Biz Network Conference, y'all. And get ready. Get your tickets ASAP before time runs out. Go to www.cbnconference.com and meet me there. We're going to be in Las Vegas, y'all. Las Vegas at the JW Marriott Hotel. Get your tickets. You do not want to miss this event. Every single year it gets bigger and better. The dates are February 28th through March 1st, 2024. And this year, and we got a special guest hosting, y'all. This next conference that will be hosted by none other than Tenacity Academy, y'all. Tenacity Clean, y'all seen them on their YouTube channel, Mrs. Johnson, Miss Tamika. They're going to kill it. They're going to bring that energy. And not only them, we also got some amazing speakers lined up for y'all. I'm talking about Mr. Eric Coffey from GovCon Giants. If you are interested in government contracts, everybody knows Eric Coffey is the man. He is the GOAT of the government contract, y'all. So you definitely want to be there to hear from him. We got Raylan Dunlap from the Hustle Network. Check out our YouTube channel. Massive, all about just hustling and getting to this money, y'all. Shout out to the Cleaning Balls family. Meet DJ The Balls at the Clean. Network Conference. We also got Mila, the host keeper, 
the queen of Airbnb cleaning, y'all. Miss Carolyn Arilano. Y'all already know that she killing it as well in the cleaning space. The legendary Debbie Sardone, who has been the number one residential cleaning consultant for I don't know how long now. She's probably the best to ever do it in the residential cleaning space. Mr. Mario Kelly who specializes in stadiums, y'all. If you ever wanted to know how to get those big contracts cleaning the sports stadiums and all of that, you do not want to miss this. Mario Kelly will be there. And we also have the king of client attraction, Mr. Mark Will Russell will be in the building. You do not want to miss the event. And we have so many other great speakers as well, too many to name, not to mention we're going to have breakout sessions. We're going to have special dinners served. It's going to be a black tie affair. We're going to give out awards. I'm telling you, it's going to be so big. Live DJs, you do not want to miss this event. Go to www.cbnconference.com. Get your tickets. Meet me there. Meet my wife. Meet my kids. We all going to be there. Let's get it, y'all.